Hey, good morning. It's Friday and we're wrapping up our week on uh, about five verses, verses uh, for your valley, verses in the valley. And this verse was given to me by one of our prayer partners. By the way, if you love to pray, why don't you reach out to us at the church? You can find us on social media or send an email to info at pathwayschurch.us. I'd love to send you. We get hundreds and hundreds of prayer requests. And if you love to pray on people's behalf, if that's your ministry, your gift, you like to intercede, man, we'd love for you to join and to be a part of our prayer ministry. Anyways, one of our prayer partners, a woman by the name of Mary Ellen Borg, who I, I love very much. Um, she's she's near to my heart. She actually walked with me through another valley. Remember several years ago when I had about seven eye surgeries? Mary Ellen was one of uh, the individuals at our church who came to our house when Laura had to work and do some things and she would sit and she would uh, make sure that I had some food and she would just uh, be a part of our house during that time and she's a blessing. And so anyways, going through this valley and she shot me a text and she said, hey pastor, there's a great verse. Um, have you ever read Romans 12, 12? And I was like, Romans 12, 12? I know Romans 12, 1 and 2. I said, uh, 12, 12, I had to take a look at, but it's a beautiful verse and I want you to listen to it. It's a great verse for your valley. Here it is. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Be joyful in hope. That means there's a decision that you and I get to choose. We can either choose joy or we can choose complaint. We can either use joy or we can choose grumbling. Like, hey, listen, I'm going to be joyful in hope. And then I'm going to be patient in affliction. I'm not going to try to rush through this valley. I'm not trying to run through it. I'm going to walk through it because sometimes the only way through is through. And so I'm going to be patient in affliction, asking the Father, what do you want to teach me? What do you want to show me? How are you going to guide me? And then I want to be faithful in prayer. Listen, don't break your communication with the shepherd of your soul as you go through your valley. Can I pray for you? Father, as we wrap up this week, and God, you've given us a collection of verses as we go through our valleys. I pray that you would be with the people who are watching today, that you would guide them and bless them, and God, that they would be faithful in prayer and patient in affliction, and that they would choose joy as they wrap up this week. Whether they're in the valley and uh, it's going to continue on through the weekend and the next week and maybe even the week after that. Or God, this valley is coming to an end and they see, God, that there's hope and there's a mountaintop ahead. God, whatever your plan is for our lives, we surrender and we're devoted to you. We love you and we pray this in the name of Jesus, the strong son of God. Amen. We'll see you next week on The Daily Dose.